What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's episode, as you guys can see, we're out and back on the off-grid property. Just Boomer and I, and I've got a little bit of an update to share with you guys with the property. I know I haven't been filming a whole lot and there's been some changes on the other channel. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. But um, I will update you a little later on in this video what's going on and what's been happening. Um, <laughs> very, very nice out today. So it is currently snowing. I think it's about three degrees, maybe two degrees Celsius. Boomer's been running out here, having a blast. He loves running. He's got his beautiful blonde curls going on here. I won't put his sweater on right now because he keeps running back inside, jumping up on this chair, drying out from the wood stove, and then back out to play again. It's what he does all day, every day out here. He loves it. So starting off this day with uh, hot coffee, got the wood stove cranked up. I'm drying out all this slab wood around here because some of it is still damp and a little bit green as this is actually off cut from the milling that I did on the sawmill to make some lumber. So these are all little off cut pieces that were green. They're burning kind of slowish. As you guys can see, the stove is damped down a tiny bit, but they are burning. I'm trying to dry it out and um, yeah, it'll burn. I am sick right now, by the way, guys. So my voice is actually horrible. <laughs> I'm uh, just kind of battling this uh, cold in the woods with a wood stove and hot coffee. So I do have the Jeep with me. I actually slept in the Jeep last night. I've got the diesel heater on, still running because I'm charging a bunch of batteries. Every time I wake up in the morning, my batteries for my drone, they, the drone doesn't want to fly. So I got that charging right now, warming up the batteries. I've got a couple of DSLR batteries in there and stuff. And uh, yeah, as you guys can see, this is home sweet home. So a little bit more on that in a little bit in this video but right now I do have to wake up have a little bit of breakfast I think what I'm going to do is probably get some sausages maybe some egg on the scuttle behind me get that pulled out over here get that fired up or maybe to cook on the wood stove I'm not sure um, I am going to have a hot shower today so I'll run you guys through that process how that works out here off grid and uh, basically just kind of a recap video to what's been going on where I've been hiding at <laughs> Um, and what I've been up to. So stay tuned guys and uh, Boomer and I are gonna have a little bit of a warm-up session here. Enjoy some coffee and we'll take it from there.
All right guys, just finished up with coffee and before I get started cooking some breakfast on the wood stove, we've got to clean out this spark arrestor which is totally clogged. The only way I can reach it is with a stick. So, gonna kind of poke through these holes one at a time and get it cleaned out because it is filthy dirty. Well, that's looking pretty good. It's already burning a little bit better. I can tell just by the smoke coming out of the pipe now. I can actually hear it crackling too. So that should be good enough to cook on. Once I'm done cooking, I'll let it cool down. I'll dismantle the pipes from inside, take them apart and give the pipes a really good cleaning, put it back together and get it fired up for this evening.
All right, guys, we've got breakfast ready to go. Boomer's gonna have some, still a little too hot for him, but got a big breakfast. So I actually have some steak and some rice that I cooked up last night with onion and mushroom on the squaddle. Added that into here. Got a breakfast blend of mushrooms, bacon, potato, kind of like a hash brown mix, and then a bunch of these sausages. Oh. Mm-hmm. Super good. So, gonna eat up here, sitting in front of the wood stove, got the garage door wide open. The snow has stopped and turned to rain. Right now, it looks like it's not doing anything out there. So all the snow is back to being off the trees like it was yesterday. Kind of neat waking up in the rooftop tent this morning. Everything was just a winter wonderland, nice snow. It's been like that up here on the property for the last week. And uh, yeah, it's just really nice. So I'm gonna eat up and um, basically continue on with the day. I do have to take a hot shower. So I wanna bring you guys along the process of that, getting the water, getting over to the shower, getting everything figured out, that all warmed up. And uh, yeah, just keep on going with the day. And basically out here in the winter time, every day is a chore of getting firewood ready. I got a bunch of stuff out here drying out and uh, keep that process repeating it. Water, firewood, food, water, firewood, food. <laughs> Always, and staying clean and having fun too at the same time. So I'm gonna eat up and I'll catch up with you guys as soon as I'm finished. Hmm. All right guys, so here's the shower room. I've got the Julka Hot Tap 2 set up inside of here. Just had to go down the driveway to the creek where the only water source or running water source on the property is. So I've got that, I've got propane in there. I've got a propane heater. It is kind of damp in there. It's not very cold out today. If it was really, really cold, I'd preheat the shelter with the propane heater. I'm not gonna do that today. But I do need to get the Jackery out of the Jeep because that is my battery source. To run the pump i did not bring a small battery out with me this time i only had the jackery so yeah keeping that in mind for next time bringing it back out to run the pump the only electrical piece that actually needs to run is the actual water pump so i want to grab the jackery get that situated probably on the back side because the water will go this way and through the floorboards uh it's an outside shower so basically there's no drain the water's just going to run through in the ground and all that good stuff so I'm gonna grab the battery, get that set up, bring a towel, change of clothes, and hopefully have a nice hot shower in here, and then kick back and relax next to that wood stove.
All right, so I've got the Jackery 2000 Pro. I've got the Buddy heater. This is the propane heater that I would normally heat the shelter with. But today it's really warm out. I'm not even gonna bother. And there's probably a little bit of propane in there. I'll use that for a really cold day, especially when it's icy out here. Get the cold breeze whipping around. It's nice to have this shelter hot. So when the water on the shower turns off, you can dry it off, get dressed and get out. So I've got the cord run through here. I'm gonna reach in here, grab the power cord. 12 volt DC, so pretty universal system. Put it through the handle there so it's not on the ground. And as you guys hear, turn that on, the pump comes on, so I gotta go in and turn the pump off. Uh, but that's basically the setup. I'll give you guys a quick peek on the inside here where I'm gonna put the bucket, the pump, and all that good stuff. And then time for a hot shower. All right, so I've yet to actually get out here and do any kind of electrical in this building. So what I'm using for light, Here's my hiking light. Where I'm going to hang it is usually up on the side, but I changed carabiners, so I'm not sure where the carabiner is going to hook onto now. We'll figure it out. So, light. Um, I mean, I could shower the door wide open, realistically. Uh, so, I've got the bucket of water. Drag that in here. Pop that in here. The siphon for the pump drop that in there it has a pre-filter on it as well so I'm not too worried about any sawdust that was in this bucket that uh, that'll filter that out for propane running a one pound tank just because these are the most easiest tanks to get in and out of the property instead of dragging a big jug propane I do have to have an adapter on here so that's on just making sure everything here is off flick that pump off this is an auto igniting shower, so once the water hits a sensor inside, it uh, turns the burner on and then you can set the flow rate and the temperature and the propane burn, which gives you hotter water, slower water, uh, colder water, faster water, all that stuff. So I'll dial that in here once I actually get in for a shower. Make sure that's nice and tight. Propane on the floor. Now, many people are probably going to say, geez, it's a small tank, it's going to get cold. It's not, because the hot water is going to come down, the hot water is going to hit the tank, which is going to warm the tank, which is going to give more PSI and more oomph to the burner. So that is totally fine where that is. Water here, I mean, if we get any overspray of water going into the bucket, it's just going to go back to the system. So that's kind of neat. And I was thinking about a recirculating system, putting a little bath kind of pan here with the drain in the bottom and doing a pump through the floor and basically dumping water into the pan and that would go down to the pan and then run the pump in there so it have a full recirculating system. I mean, the showers are only two minutes long, if that, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm gonna soap up anyways. But yeah, shower head's way up here. Gonna flick that on, flick that on, auto ignite, good to go. Jackery turned on. I've got my soap in here, towels, all that stuff. So I'll flick it on for a quick second just to make sure everything's gonna work. Show you guys and show myself. Uh, I haven't run it yet today and the propane tank that I just put on there is half empty so we'll see what happens. Flick DC on. Got the hot shower pump on. Gonna get nice and hot. Twenty two degrees Celsius. Twenty five degrees Celsius. Just gotta dial in the right flow rate to build up the temperature. That's 30 degrees Celsius. Coming up on 32. So everything works. You can see a pilot flame lit in there. It'll build up as it cycles through more, but I don't want to waste all my water because I want to go back down. Realistically, I should have been pumping in the bucket. Anyways, hot shower time. I need it. Shower head mounted above. So I'm going to flick this on and wash up. Catch up with you guys when I'm all done. 
All right, so just finished up with a shower. That bucket ran for probably about a minute and a half, two minutes. And they're still <laughs> wet boxers, dirty socks. They're still probably a fair bit of water left in there. If I took the pre-filter off, I could run the, the hose all the way to the bottom of the bucket because it is quite long. But if there's sawdust, it'll get gummed up and I don't want to risk any chance of damaging it. So pre-filter's on there. So what I do now is where it's not actually freezing out today, I'll let that sit down and let gravity do its thing to drain the water out. The hot water, whatever water is still primed in here, what I like to do is just drain that out because if it does freeze, it'll freeze the lines. We don't want that happening. The pump, disconnect this as well. Let any water run out of the air. Flip the pump on for a quick second. Not supposed to run the pump dry, but just to kind of get anything out of there that might be sitting in there. If it freezes later tonight, should be all right now. Connect everything back up. The bottom of these heaters do have a drain plug as well to actually drain the little basin. I'm going to drain that right now. Little brass screw. Comes out. There's a little bit in there, not a lot. And then put that back in. That basically stops it from freezing the tank and exploding when uh, the ice expands. So that's drained. Drained. <coughs> Reconnect that. For the next shower let that sit there propane tank i'll probably bring that into a warm place but i'll leave it there for now shower heads decent that's all drained out so it's basically it so i got a little shelf built in here for a towel and my soap which was almost frozen from last night by the way so I probably should have preheated my soap in a pot of water would have been a great idea but that shower done I have a little tree here that I've been using for my clothing rack. A little hook. While it's not raining or snowing, that is. And that's basically it. Shower done. So I got to get the propane heater back inside there. Jackery back in the rooftop tent. Get this all buttoned up, and that's the outdoor shower. So feeling a lot better right now. My voice is still hoarse right now, being sick. So I try not to talk a whole lot. I do need a hot drink. So when we get all this stuff squared away back in the workshop and in the Jeep and uh, probably make another hot drink and just relax. It is starting to rain a little bit. Evening is getting closer, so it's going to be time to cook supper. And uh, I want to be ahead of the game tonight, so I do need to top up the diesel heater tank with diesel. Um, get the blankets squared away inside of the tanks. I don't like doing that when it's dark out. Uh, it's just easier being able to see things if something falls in the snow out the tent door. And yeah, get that wood stove rocking in the wood shop. Probably hang out there for a while later on this evening, watch a movie, and then head up into the nice heated rooftop tent. So. Get this buttoned up.